I have a haul for you guys. So it's been a little while, but I've got a few things from Primark, New Look, Oasap, Cherries, and She Inside. So I'm just going to get stuck in and get started with it. Okay, so I will start with Cherries first because I got quite a few things from them and I liked pretty much most of them bar two things. <laughs> now, I did get these things for free. Some of you guys don't like that, but hey, I can't afford to like shop non-stop. Let's be real. And also, I'm always going to be 100% honest with you guys. If I had paid for these items, would I be happy with it as a consumer? And for two particular items, I wouldn't be. And those are these pair of trousers. And I ordered these in a small, and I can quite honestly say these are really, really big for me. Um, any trousers that I've ordered from Cherries have been massive on me. So I've learnt my lesson and I'm probably not going to get trousers again. But they're still really, really good quality, they just don't fit me, their sizing's a little bit off with the bottoms. So for me, this was a little bit of a... yeah. Next thing I was slightly disappointed with was this top. On the website this looked like it was a cotton material, I'm going to leave the picture for you here, how it appears on the website, and this is how it is in real life. I don't know. That was really disappointing for me. However, all the other items I got, big thumbs up. So one of the first things I got was this fur gilet type thing. Kind of makes me look a little bit like Cruella de Vil or just one of the Dalmatians, <laughs> but I absolutely love it. It's super warm, super fluffy, and I swear it's only like 15 quid or something ridiculous, and it does come in a few other colours. I quite like the lilac -y purple one, and I have done a blog post on this on how I styled it, so I'll leave the link for that here if you guys want to check it out. The next item from Cherries is this stripy t-shirt. Don't need another stripy t-shirt, but it's a nice material, hangs really nicely. I like this a lot. Next item I featured in my last lookbook, and it's this camel colour kind of jumper. It's got no seams at the bottom, so it hangs very nicely. I really like this. I think it looks more expensive than it is. I like the whole dropped shoulder kind of thing. Yeah, liking that. Next thing from Cherries is this white mesh long sleeve top. I think H&M have something very similar as well, so if you don't want to get it online, check out H&M. So another stripy item from Cherries, but this, I love it so much. It's just a stripy long sleeve top this time. Again, it's got the low shoulders that I quite like, but the material on it is like ribbed. It just honestly feels lovely and I wasn't expecting it to be as good quality as it is. So this is definitely my favourite thing from Cherries. So the next place is Oasap. So the first item are a pair of sunglasses. Now I know what you're thinking, Helena, it's going to be winter, why are you getting sunglasses? But these were so cool and I am going to be going on holiday to India so I could wear them then. <laughs> but they look, again, I think they look more expensive than they are. They don't feel like cheap and flimsy like I thought they would. They're actually quite substantial and I've had a few people compliment me on these, so yeah. Next up from them is a shirt which I've also featured in my lookbook and it's just this grey kind of flannel stripy shirt. Nice to throw on on those winter days just when you want something quite snuggly and warm. It's a dark neutral colour which again just goes with everything. Sticking with the grey theme, <laughs> it's another jumper from Oasap. It's cropped with long sleeves. I'm liking long sleeves for winter just because that way you don't need like another layer of anything. This is super soft. I thought it would go horrible um, in the wash but it hasn't. I've washed it a few times and it stayed true so the quality is very very good as well and I believe this comes in a few other colours. I could be wrong but all links will be left down below for you guys. And the last thing from Oasap is this white shirt. Now it is a really nice material, it hangs and flows really nicely but I liked it because of this little detail. It's got this kind of necktie, kind of gentlemanly, very androgynous looking, just going around the collar, but you can take it off if you wanted and just wear it plain, so you kind of have two looks in one there, and I'm liking this from Oasap. So, from She Inside. Now, the delivery for these two items took forever, I'm not going to lie. I haven't really had a problem with them before, but this was probably like over a month waiting, so bear that in mind. The first thing was this shirt that I'm wearing. I think it looks a little bit more expensive than it is because of the gold buttons. They're very nice detail to them. The only thing is it's that kind of like silky material where I think it doesn't let you breathe so much so you might get a little bit... I don't know, just bear that in mind. And one last item from She Inside was this black oversized coat. I've bought coats from there before and they're really warm, nice for winter. 
just order them now to get them in time, that's all I'm going to say. This is slightly too big for me, but it is it's meant to be slightly oversized. Um, and it's just black. One thing that I got from New Look, it's this first doll collar, I don't know what you call it. I love it so much, especially with this orange lip. It's so nice, it's so warm. It was $17.99. I've seen ones in like other high street shops for about 60 quid and designer ones for a couple of grand, but who does that? Who seriously does that? So this <laughs> month I've got three pairs of shoes to show you. Yep, three. <laughs> the first pair I'm gonna get out the way and done with. I originally bought these loafers from Office and they retail for £65. After six hours wear, they broke. Um, when I went into Timpsons to try and get them fixed, they told me they weren't leather lined so they couldn't fix them. And I wasn't happy with the quality and I don't want to promote them, but I did exchange them for these instead. They're a really pretty loafer, they come in loads of different colours, but I don't actually think the quality matches up with the pricing of the shoes. So if you can, wait for office shoes to go and sell rather than paying full price for them because they are 100% not worth the money. Yeah, but they are pretty but really uncomfortable as well. The next pair, however, are surprisingly very comfortable. I wore them to the um, As Darkness Falls YouTube Halloween party thing. If you haven't seen my vlog, then go and check it out. I'll leave the link here for you guys. And it's these. They're so pretty. And guess what, guys? These were six pounds. Yeah, I said that right. Six pounds from Primark. They're not leather, but um, honestly, you can't tell. They honestly aren't uncomfortable. Six quid, chunky sole. This is a little bit hard, it's not that soft, but again, they don't cause me any pain or discomfort, and for the price, that's fantastic. They have some really nice shoes in there at the moment, so definitely check out Primark. And the last pair of shoes are some Jeffrey Campbells. But I picked these up in TK Maxx, and they are the Jeffrey Campbell Colt Lace. I know, I was surprised when I saw these, and these were on clearance for £27. They're super comfy. Some really, really nice shoes in there. And that's all my haul, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up, to subscribe, and to stay tuned for more. Peace! We arrived at the co-op and I scared the first person I saw. Wow.